this is my second ever completed project. And god damn, it's been all day learning curve. Fuck. Anyway, so I had to monkey around because I initially started with this. And yes, the $5 Dollar Tree cups are garbage. They are not perfectly round at all. So when you go to stick it in that stupid chuck right there, it is not perfectly round. That cup there is a more expensive cup and it's perfectly round. I checked it and everything. So back to this. Well, and the hard learning curve was that when it asked for the perimeter, it's talking about the entire roundness of the cup, the entire circumference of it. <laughs> And my dumbass was measuring something wrong. So there was that screw up. Then I did the stainless steel thing. But I changed the parameters a little bit. Because normally with the um, tool creative space, it's 100% power and 45 speed. So I changed it a little bit because I ran it on that cup. So I wanted to look, try to see if I can make a little bit of black or blue come through. It didn't work, but it did what I wanted to do. So we're back on that. That's the photo. That's what the original photo looked like. And that's what I did to it. It's some random picture I did off the internet to learn how to do this. And do, 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 do. it was quite an interesting ordeal. But let's go back over here. And the other learning curve is you've got to make sure you got this damn thing square. And this has a handle on it. So nice little thing to know about the cups that have the handles. You got to get the entire circumference of it and then divide that by half because this here is located square in the middle. Well, either way, it'd be in the middle. So what you need to do is figure out what the complete circumference is. So that's what I did. That little mark there is the halfway mark between one side and the handle. So I divided that and made the center. And the picture is actually a little off center. Give me a second, I'm trying to recenter it. Because the S should be a little further that way. I thought the S was center. But according to that program, it's just a hair off center, but you never notice it. So there's that. So thanks for stopping by. Well, the second one I did, it was a little bit smaller, but I turned the power down a little bit and I sped it up to see how it would turn out. And this, the actual detail came out better. The other one was 100% power, which I did that for a reason because I was trying to see if I could create the um, some different colors under the metal. But if I'd have went back over it again, it'd have been all right because I could still, when it got done, I could see a little bit of blue there. So I probably should have done it twice, but it was single pass, so it is what it is. This one here, that's what the settings are for that one. And this was um, 11 inches and... Oh, I feel like I'm gonna be bent out of shape because it's their fucking Dunkin', Don Dunkin Donuts cup. <laughs> it's a $30 cup I just fucked up. <laughs> huh. oh, oh well. It is what it is. Thanks for stopping by. This is badass. After it cooled and everything, now you can see all the color. At first you couldn't see it. All you could see was right there in the middle. But man, oh man, oh man, you can see all the different little colors. The green, the teal. That was badass. I'm glad I saved the settings. That is awesome. Now, the only thing I can assume is because it was um, uh, 
35 was the speed and it was 100% power that I need to slow it down a little more, I think, to get more color. But yeah, it's pretty badass.